traffic it build up the right back down to Tinsipen and then just be careful and we see welcome back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple. Me. Well, the people, open body, you know, okay? open body, you know, all right. There's always something to give God thanks for. As you breathe right now, another person takes their last. Stop complaining and learn how to live your life with what you have. Can't say me never tell them that. Every day I come and me tell them the same thing, you know. Anyway, people want to leave a thing and go under the news. Kick back and relax, come crack us back the right of my foot and I go on. Wheel some news out tight right now, give people them. If I'm a gunshot accident, you walk one pan, walk one now. A male motorcyclist died this afternoon from injury he sustained in a collision with a taxi along Marcus Garvey Drive in Kingston. I said, people, one only for traffic, you know. And that's the picture. Can I show the people them walk one pan, walk one. So no matter worry yourself. Far enough, come, come look. But anyway, I can give people them some more news. A farmer who was allegedly caught stealing tomato to catch up from inside a woman's house in Magadie St. Elizabeth has been charged with burglary and lastery. Oh, slap, who knows? not slap him away. Report reaching our news team that 50 year old Uroy Smith, otherwise called Nachilos, broke into a woman's house and was caught inside the kitchen at about 12.45 a.m. He was reportedly found with a bottle of ketchup and reportedly asked the woman for a salt. The woman, being fearful, gave him the salt and he then left through the back door. Yes, people, the man come in and saw the man, the food one, ketchup and salt because it's fresh, bad. The man just asked for his salt, asked for the child be given, you understand? A report was made to the police and investigation led to Smith being arrested. Ask the lap, who should go slap with Smith? Broke in a people house to catch up on salt and your farmer. Anyway, people, make can move on and give the people them some other news here, man. A man who was convicted of armed robbery five years ago was on Monday off for bail. John Murray, who had been behind bars since 2017, pending the outcome of his appeal, was offered 50,000 bail after it was revealed that the transcript from his child is unavailable. John was star from 2017 and now at 2022. You know what, people? I'm not even going to give you no more of this news. Yeah? Make I move on. Can I say once foolish is that shot? Guess who involved? Jamaica. No matter which party foolish is that shot, you know. Them half a fine and nose in it. You know, I'm going to go and go and now. A Jamaican man has been implicated in an armed bank robbery on Martin's Vineyard in the United States of Massachusetts. Mikael Antonio Jones, age 30, pled not guilty to being an accessory after the fact of the robbery during his court appearance on Monday. Bail was set at 300000 and Jones was offered to stay away from the victims and the bank and wear a GPS monitoring bracelet if he posts bail. The police said Jones was one of three suspects in the robbery, but the other two suspects may have already left the island. Jones was reportedly caught driving the car the suspect got into after they ditched the one they stole and make I tell owners something people listen me i listen me good this a boy everybody know him you understand a black stone the road friend man yeah blacks are bigger down the road i feel them friend and when he left jamaica and drew a big stone behind him and said now nah, come back so make i tell you something uncle sam we don't want to see my kayak no 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 not even in our box we want to see my dog so what i said that i mean what i said i know me already now nah, take it back. Anyway, now people, make I move on with the news. A 26-year-old man has been charged with rape and unlawful wounding after allegedly assaulting his neighbor on Friday, November 18. Charge is Akeem Watson of Angela in Salt Spring, St. James. Report reaching our news team that about 12:30 p.m. Watson allegedly asked his neighbor to allow him to use her kitchen. But who will land there? Man, I go run in a bar of kitchen these days. The woman was reported inside her room when Watson entered and demanded sex. She refused, and Watson allegedly held the woman by her neck, inflict a wound to her hand using a piece of broken vase and subsequently rape her. A report was made to the police immediately following the incident. Watson was subsequently arrested. Oh, lad, I'm a police, I'm a fool, you know? 
them a police yeah fool ah slap the police them just slap for the whole dirty boy anyways make i move on with the news the opposition is concerned about reports of abuse by soldiers under the soe following monday's fatal shooting of 24 year old teron hewitt on law street in downtown kingston during an alleged confrontation with members of jamaica defense sports yeah peter dumpton now people the videos show soldiers fatally shooting a young man walking away from them and on the face of it offering no threat to the soldiers or others. The community is outraged at this incident and a police crime scene investigation vehicle was set on fire last night. The opposition is calling on Indicom and the JCF to conduct a swift and thorough investigation of this incident, which threatens to further undermine trust in the military. The opposition leader himself has reported at least three credible and documented allegations of abuse of citizens by soldiers to the relevant authorities. Last evening, there was a report of soldiers threatening police officers in Clarendon as the police officers attempted to clear a traffic backlog on the east-west leg of Highway 2000 that was caused by the military checkpoint in Freetown. When, in the words of Justice Marson, Quote, there is no valid state of public emergency. End quote. This unconstitutional use of SOEs will only undermine professional policing and destroy the trust between citizens and the security forces. Somebody needs to show him the big stone. It's like how me I deal with politics. Guess what, people? When a friend get work. Yes, when a friend Matthew get work. When I wonder what kind of work him get. Power, go on, power, go on, no. And so I'm going to ask that special section, call you and take him under your wings and allow him to work with you and you work with him. So that it can be a mutual relationship for the benefit of the people of Jamaica. Yeah. I am going to give you the first political advice, sir. In here, you are just as I'm covered, and you can tell me. Say that we have been covered. That's right. All right, it's a pleasure to be here. It's wonderful. Um, you know, been through so many things and experienced so many things to This will be my first time in talking about the politician. You have hired to the people. I hope where you come in like I could guarantee you it's like it's almost like typical like every journey in my life. Where they live, the way you come in and love spirit for the day. We have to come up to represent the people. I represent like the security guy and the bad double sheet tonight. We represent the people in the car center. I represent the people in the hotel industry. We represent the people in the man's body. We treat me as a crime because we don't come for a rich man, bro. We don't have a rich man and a rich man. So this is an experience. This is life. So if I can see them, we are like 40 people. I need them a new one. For them to go. We should have a man with a man with a man with a man I had to come and ask him if he ever reached out to me before. So he actually reached out to me and said, hmm, I don't know what you're doing. So, what I really want to find out right now, I'm young and I'm willing to learn. I have, I have thought, I do have thought, I do have like something, but I do have an open mind to learn, to adapt and to adjust. So I'm calling the People's National Party, the senior members, who are looking at the right now as a young man who based by just out of his party. And maybe one day, next one day, I will be the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Yes, I will be the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And I will be the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And I will be the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And, and at this day, you can guarantee, I know you're going to take me some school, in some college, some boy. I'm 28 years old here, so some of you must say, for like 18 years, I will accomplish that. I guarantee you that. And hats off to the people of the National Party. We yeah, yeah. will start to about people who want to see a change in Jamaica. Who want these people to move forward? Move forward, not mean